I have silence because my house is made of cinder block. No. No, it's not an insane asylum. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely. That is perfectly normal. Okay. Uh, yes. We did all we needed to do here. I have money, I have gold, I have... What do they sell here? Scarabray. Scarabray, there's an alchemist, which I bought some stuff from, and an inn, but everybody's full. No, Shamino is not full. Is it worth... I mean, why not? Don't go away. Nine gold, yeah. That is not making a live action version of Mega Man. Good God. Oh, that's been in the wow. That there there's been talk of this for years now. Years, but yeah, it was always a bad move. Why don't they do a cartoon? Do a fucking cartoon, you dumb fucks. So they're doing a cartoon for Mario. Oh, that's that's okay. I mean, that's a better idea than using like uh, live action, especially for Mario. Like, if you're doing a Sonic movie, if they ever do a Sonic movie, they should do it uh, as a cartoon, right? I should I should watch I should watch it. I should watch the Sonic movie. <laughs> I've heard it's good just just for Jim Carrey. I just want to see good old Jim Carrey. I've heard really good things about Jim Carrey's performance in that movie. I'm just gonna watch it for Jim. Hey, Crunchy Snacker! Good evening. Hello, hello. How's it going? Okay. Where am I going? Where am I going? Did I have a thing open? Yeah, okay. My notes. Okay. Uh, Bandai has a magic carpet and fun. Oh, okay, we can do that. Resistance and prison need passwords. See Archmaid Flynn and Tower and Scarabry. Ask about oppression. <gasps> oh, so. We did have the word for the guy in the tower that I reloaded and all that. Okay, let's go back in then. Uh, we need unlock magic unlock. I mean, what do we have? What do we have? Magic unlock. In export. No, we don't have some. In export. In export, and it's ash and moss. So ash and moss mix. How much? Four. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Five. Hey. 
and and Mount Clips. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. Just Clips. Done. Okay, I don't have any choice, but ah, fuck it. I'll just reload. to go to the inn. I like it. I like it a lot. For what it is, I mean, it is primitive. Primitive, but still like complex. Um, yes. Rest. Yes. Like, I think all of them uh, have some good points. So I've played one, two, three, four, because I haven't played them when they came out. Well, first of all, like it was, I was very young. Well, this was '89, so I could have played it, but no, it was not a game that uh, my like a circle of friends or even in in shops, it wasn't really sold. But we have like strict strict laws here about um, games needed to be. Um, fully translated um, not fully translated but at least the documentation and I think the problem with, with this game and other games maybe than that where there's a lot of documentation like these things here or like the a lore book and all that so they couldn't even sell it in Quebec without having that like language problem like, language problem like I did play Ultima 3, 4 on uh, Nintendo, and those games were kind of my introduction to uh, RPGs. So I could even say that Ultima 3 was like my first Ultima 3, and but I definitely played Ultima 3 before I played uh, Dragon Warrior. But I was very impressed <laughs> by Dragon's Warrior, um, like first person perspective when you go into combat. Oh, that just blew my mind when I was in. It was, oh, and I thought the graphics were fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, I need to. I did mix some spells, so now I just saved also because I will be attacked here. And the problem is, I get attacked, and as soon as I get out of combat, the door closes. So it's a, there's a lot of bullshit going on here. So we're gonna cast. Um, Inex. Uh, me in X4 None okay. Mix. Oh yeah Ah uh, oh, fuck I need to reload I need to reload because I need to start the game Without numpad Numlock uh, Activated If I do Even though I can like activate or deactivate it In game doesn't matter, only 5. 5 will be the only number, and 5 and 0 I think are the only number I can use. Mix. In Xpore. Ash and Moss 4. I know, not, I mean, Mix. 4. 4! 4! 4, okay. I still need to uh, yeah, disable it, but I can activate and deactivate it, it's so weird. Hey, bumfuzzle game, how was, it, how was it going? I heard of Ultima, but I never saw it. I played with every fire, I just learned how to use DOS. So I don't think you're you're trolling or joking, right? You have to say it because you never know here in this chat. I remember picking up a French copy of Baldur's Gate from chapters back when they sold PC games to help in French. Wow! Wow. Well, that's a good way to learn. Like, I want to introduce some... Like, I want to find some games to introduce my uh, son to... Uh, well, not introduce him to reading, but just read more uh, frequently. And having him interested in reading, because when I was young, what interests me in reading was like reading manuals. Um, for my Nintendo games or just stuff like that, you know, you need to find something to interest your kid. So maybe they'll they love reading a novel, but most most of them, are like, eh. 
<laughs> if they can watch a story, even like a comic books or cartoons, not cartoons, but I don't like where it's a, uh, here we say bande dessinée. I don't know how to say that in English. Comic strips, IBM DOS manuals. I only want to play games with dancing. <laughs> Does this game have dancing? I don't think so. Okay, so we did mix our stuff. We're gonna save again. Cast in explore. No, me in explore. Yes, up. Bat. Now the trick here is to move away and do something like this. But as soon as I open here, yeah, it's, it's you saw it. It's it's super bullshit. <laughs> it's done. Okay, at least now the door is not locked, so I can attack here. You see. The bullshit. They can advance and attack in one round. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, so we need to talk to this guy. We need to say oppression. How dare the enter my town? But, but somebody said to talk to you about oppression. Oh, it's two peas? If it's not, who's Sandy? Dryden. Does thou wish to join the oppression? Ah, shit, maybe I should have saved after all this shit. I guess. First, thou must prove thy allegiance. Tell me the name of a member of the Great Council. <sighs> I did write council somewhere here, no? Dispatch a traitor. What is all this? I have no idea what the fuck this is. So how is it going today? It's going well. I'm playing Fallout Shelter. They dance just before they make a baby. It was so close to being a proper strategy tactical RPG. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, he wasn't trying to, to do a strategy game, he was just doing an RPG game and it's fine. I actually enjoy the fact... Oh, fuck. And I need to use it again just to get out of here. Damn. Bullshit indeed. All this was useless because I don't know what to do with this mage. I don't know what to do with this guy. Uh, 
There you go. Good thing I do. Uh, I do save games of my save. I save my saves. <laughs> There's only one save slot in this game. I'm not rolling with one save slot. Fuck you, dude. Okay, so we did Scarabray. Where do we go now? Uh, we haven't gone to Jello. So yeah, let's go there. And there's a bunch of stuff south of here we haven't been to. We have some good equipment now. There you go, bull. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Hey, Clips. Thanks for the follow. Oh yes, I played. I played the uh, Wasteland one twice, and I did play it on stream. Uh, must not be too long before you came in. It, a, a little more than a year. A little more than a year now. Yeah, it's been a little while. A little more than a year I played it on stream. I also played and backed Wasteland 2. The Kickstarter of Wasteland 2 is how I, I, I came aware of Wasteland. I didn't even know that Fallout came from Wasteland and all that. I didn't even know Wasteland existed. So when that happened, I kickstarted Wasteland 2. It came with a free copy of Wasteland 1 that I could just download right now on GOG, so I did that. So that must have been like 2012 or something. I was completely blown away by, um, by uh, Wasteland 1. And Wasteland 1 to date is my favorite this type of game, you know. Um, top-down RPG. Um, it's kind of a JRPG, but it's so well made and so much complex. Like your guns can jam. You have to reload. Um, you, you, everything goes on at the same time in the in the battle. So you have to, um, like, it's very tactical. It's very strategic. Um, compared to your typical attack, 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 RPG, JRPG. Like, I'm sorry, but JRPGs have kind of dumbed down uh, a lot of aspects of, of, of the genre, and, and because a lot of games became... Like, if JRPGs didn't, wasn't a genre, some RPGs would have just become their own RPGs, and I think would have been we would have lived in a better world if that would have been the case. They lowered the bar. Okay. No. Oh, I used to love this shit out of... I need that poison. Shamino again is always completely destroyed. I don't understand why. I just I just want to flush him. So if I go straight down like from here, I should hit an island. There you go. Oh, I did ignite my torch. Okay. Uh, let's rest for I don't know eight hours. Yes, myself. It's exactly like Fallout, but with this kind of interface graphic. But there's an a macro system in the game. So for example, if you have um, 
So you'll create ma well, I, what I did was you would create macros. So instead, of, so resting in this game is just passing time like this. It's literally just that. So you can you can do this, like record macro. Stop recording, and then that macro will be, will be your rest. You'll press once, and it'll be like it'll go like way faster than when you pressed it. Um, or if you want to attack, 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 this can be just one button. If you want to reload with your guys, this you can also create a macro for your reloading. So you'll create macro. At least what I did is I created macro for stuff you do a lot. Um, another example is you'll have a guy um, that has a shovel and you want to dig. So you create a macro to dig with that guy, which might be something like use item shovel camellio north even maybe or not the north and then you'll press that macro key and all you have to do is press north and boom so if they would have done this in this in the, these games um, it would have been nice but ultima is not complex enough to kind of justify that oh my god i don't want to attack these people Oh, there's nothing here? Fuck. Ship there. Ah, fuck off. Oops. Yeah. We're gonna flush Shamino. Your days are numbered, Mr. Shamino. I'm not even sure why he's still in my team. I'm still waiting for that level up that will make the difference. <laughs> no, it just sucks. annoying because Camellio has like the ang so he... So you can't press escape? Yeah, don't press escape. Oh! Oof. Wasted remaster is... Oof. Maybe, if, if really you want to. If this doesn't look appealing to you, I guess. Oof. But if you find this boring, you will still find Wasteland boring, for sure. It's, it's the same kind of stuff. Lots of going around, not really do knowing what you're doing, using stuff on. There's a lot of like trying to do stuff in in Wasteland, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Like, can I use the, the shovel on this rock? Oh, can I use the pickaxe on this rock? Oh, can I use the stick on this rock? Oh, can I hit this rock? Oh, can I push this rock? Oh, that works, you know? That kind of bullshit. Something like it, It's very similar to what I just described.
Oh, here to go talk to this guy, you have to use like sneak or some thing that you never had to use in the game, some skills that you never had to use. Because there's some skills that you will use every second, and there's skills that you'll use once or none in the game. It's very balanced like that. Oops. So if I... So I keep pressing A, but as soon as I get my character, I need to press space. Because if I don't press space and I press A like at the last, like if here I press A by accident, I can't press space anymore. Oh no, space works, but I need to press it twice, which is not confusing. So once... <laughs> And if I press it twice when I need to press it once, I'll skip another game. <laughs> so I have to keep track of whose turn it is, because it's not like Emilio, Shamino, Yolo, Julio, it's not that. At least I don't think so. Julia, then Camilio, then Yolo, then Shamino, then Camilio again, then Julia, then Camilo. Oh my god. Oh. I'm not a big fan of the fighting in this game. Put a bow in my hand. Ah. We're doing it. Oh, my God. Of course. It's Shamino, that's poison. Okay, so about here, if I go down, I should get another island. Oops. Oh, you know what? Yeah. This will be a little less of a hassle. I kind of miss um, old JRPG. It is, it's floating in my head more and more, so I might as just well talk about it since we're on the subject. Uh, but I think I'm gonna play Final, the original Final Fantasy. I think I'm gonna stream that. Enter. Oh, a new mission, a new quest. Uh, I don't remember who I'm gonna cheat a little bit. It's this is Valor. Valor. I do know the mantra, I'm not cheating, I'm just looking at my notes from Ultima 4. I did import my game so my character actually knows these things. This is not cheating. <laughs> Says to himself so he can he can sleep at night. The altar speaks and the quest is ordained! Go to the lower right part of the map, check the codex, can come back, essentially. This now thy sacred quest to go into the codex. I would have liked this quest to be something. Like, go... Yeah, go to... Uh, you and go give some money to Sam. Like, sacrifice. Go make a sacrifice. Valor, go do that valorous thing. Go empty this dungeon, you know? I don't know. Uh, 
somebody's going to say, no, that's Ultima 6. So Ultima 7 is the best Ultima series ever? <laughs> There's a lot of things to unpack in that sentence. You mean so Ultima... So Ultima 7 is the best in the Ultima series ever? I don't know. I don't know, I haven't played any of the Ultima, past Ultima 5, this is Ultima 5, so I've played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 is the best of the bunch, but it's definitely no, it's a classic, but I wouldn't recommend it necessarily. I've heard bad things about all the Ultimas, they all have some kind of problem, but they're all landmark games, all of them. They all kind of introduced stuff or, or made them like really in depth, because this Ultima 5 is really... Uh, like an in-depth open-world RPG, kind of like an Elder Scroll be before Elder Scroll existed, where you go around, you talk to people, they give you quests. It's very, it's kind of a, a little abstract, of course, because it is what it is. Yeah, Ultima Underworld is the best. So Ultima Underworld is the best, definitely. Yes, there's no contest. It's Ultima Underworld and then everything else. But I'm ex excited about playing uh, the Ultima, Ultima 7, especially. It's the reason I'm playing... Um, the Ultima series, it's to get to Ultima 7 and to replay Ultima Underworld and play Underworld, un uh, Ultima Underworld 2, which I never actually played. I did play a little bit, like a couple of hours, but not really uh, gave into it, Ultima 69. <laughs> but I've also heard a lot of bad things about 7 uh, in terms of it being clunky and a pain in the ass and long as shit. And all that good stuff. <laughs> so it's the first time we come here, let's save. It's coming, the night is coming. So we're gonna explore this castle. Oh. Stupid long. Really? Okay. How, how long are we talking about? I, I played long games on this on this channel. I don't care about long games. Apparently I can take the torches without problem with my karma. <laughs> I took a break of, uh, of that game once. Don't take a too long break, you'll be completely... Well, it depends. If you have a really good memory, you might be fine, but... Yeah, that's one of the games that I stopped playing. And I did come back, but when I come back, I was like, Oh my god, what the fuck was I doing? Who are these characters? Ooh. I shouldn't have stopped playing this. <clears throat> But in retrospect, I mean, it's not that long. A Torment is not a long game. There's no, like, endless dungeon, and there's no bullshit in, in Planescape. Every dungeon, every place is just crazy. Like, original. That's what's fun about it. You go into a lot of the planes. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, we can't get out of here. 
apparently we can only go out here. Jimmy the lock open. So let's explore this place. Oh, let's look at the gem uh, view. Okay, very straightforward. I see. Let's go around here. Getting it. Let's check our car. 24. 24. Okay. Yeah, I think getting stuff in, in the barrels or, or anywhere else is, is fine. You can do that. It's okay. Talk to you. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck off. Go away so I can pass at least. I can rob your stuff. I've never... I do... Funny story! Um, I, I backed Tides of Numenera <laughs> and I did play some hours. I mean, I did play hours of it but not more than 10, which was just scratching the surface. And I don't know, it didn't strike me. I didn't like it as much as Pillars of Eternity, that's for sure. And I think my, my sentiment has been reflected uh, everywhere. I mean, nobody talks about Tides of Numenera, it's been forgotten. It's kind of that, oh yeah, that game, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Divinity Original Sin is nice, but I wasn't in love with it, but it's good. It's good, and good music, good everything. I have nothing bad to say about it. But I don't think it's a game I'm gonna replay. Okay, we'll have to pass time a little bit to wait uh, for people to come come out of bed. Oh, it's morning. Usually they, everybody uh, comes here in the morning. Let's talk to you. It's not open. <sighs> okay. A battle-worn fighter. Thor. I think he's joinable. I'm resting between battles. Just the other day, I was locked in mortal combat with a bunch of nasty trolls. They even had a gal to ask me for gold. I thought them a thing or two. A thing. Uh, troll. Gal. Pass. Uh, battle. Combat. But Let's ask for mantras. I never asked for. Oh, there you go. We shall serve. I mean, Lord British? British? Will thou be exploring the dungeon Death Star? I want to. In many dungeon rooms, there are trips that open secret mage. I should, I should say mantra to other people. Wow, I didn't expect this. How many dungeon. In many dungeon rooms, there are trips that open secret passages. The more devious ones are those that must be pushed, like wall panels. Okay. 
Some even must be shot at, such as a torch across a chasm. Okay, let's write that down. Uh, like what tiles that need to be pushed or shot at, like a torch across a chasm. And remember, does thou need the word of power to enter? Power. As the minstrel. 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 As the minstrel. Word. Min no okay. Good on thing. Okay, let's go back here. No one. Ah oh, fuck off. We're dead. Oh, I thought I was fine here because I did touch some guards before. No, never, never touch guards. Never touch guards. Stop! Don't touch it! Look at you! Fucking guards! I still, I didn't do anything here. Like I talked to this guy, but. Uh, about job, well, let's ask his name. Battle Troll Pass to my uh, mantra uh, Brit Dest. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> um, mantra. Fuck it up. Brit. Yes. Word. You see a rough and scrawny man with a patch on an eye. Hey, you, how does. Okay. Name. So trespassing job. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Yes. Mantra. No. Okay, somebody's gonna ask us to come here eventually, I guess. Open up. Finally. Wow, you're an ass. So what's up here? Nothing? Wow, there's really no one. And this guy is never up? <laughs> you can never buy boats in this town. No, no, not in the garden, not in the garden, not in the garden. Safe. Um, why is it? Oh, there's a minstrel right there. What is thy name, Camilio? A pleasure. What is your name? Tryon. What's your job? I play songs. Songs of valor, of course. The tales of many valiant deeds come through this pub. Pub. Valiant. Tales. Why there's a fighter who frequents this place by the name of Thorn? Thorn. His travel takes him on many quests. 
He visits the shrines often. Of that, thou shalt ask. To, oh, okay, I should ask about the shrine then. He's gonna say the same thing, I feel. Okay, but what about the word? Dost thou intend to explore one of the forbidden dungeons? Yes. Well, if thou must be so foolish as to try that, I can tell thee only this. There is one in this town who doth search for that which is not there. He knows the word of power. But he has, qu he has gone quite insane, so if he doth have trouble remembering, saying each word backwards oft is of some help. Wow. Insane. So word. He knows the word of power. Okay, so maybe ask him about the word of power. So it might be the guy that's... Who are you? Innkeeper, innkeeper. No. Maybe. Ah, shit. He's not asleep. Definitely one of these two guys. I'm assuming my shop is open. Hey, you! Is that a business here? So. Droll? Hmm. Ah. Who has gone insane? He doesn't look like he's insane, he just looks like he's an ass. I don't see anyone insane here. No. No, no, it's not the fountain. <laughs> of course not. It's not the fountain. Oh, you're right. Like there's water here. Why is there? Why can I hear water? Oh, it's this thing. I don't understand. Who's insane? No one's insane. What do you have to sell? Flaming oil, mace, spike collar, throwing axe, spiked elm, spiked shield, morning star. Hmm. Spiked shield. It has an attack value of six. Ooh, nice! That means I can attack with it? How much is it? Morning Star... Spiked Elm... Spike collar. Spike collar is not here. Hmm. No, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything. Ah, 
<sighs> Go away. I can't go around here. There's no one on the ramparts ever. I see no one ever going there. I think I, I talked to everybody in town. Like, he's not the guy. Bugging me because it should be here. What the fuck? It says in this town. This town is not big. Word. Yes. There is one in this town who does search for that which is not there. He knows the word of power. But he has gone quite insane, so if he does have trouble remembering saying each word back, each words back, each words, each words. I can't even find one crazy guy, there's no insane guys here. It's annoying because I'm not gonna come back here for a fucking while. So I'm just gonna look at it. Insane. Jello. And I can't look at a walkthrough while I have too much information. Supposed to be a mage here. What? Jello. Town of Jello. Talk to Tryon and get a clue about the mantra of valor. Yes. Did we? No. Is that the word of power? Then Thorn tells you the mantra itself. No, he didn't. I asked about mantra to Thorn. <laughs> Talk again to Tryon about the word and it will relay you to the local counselor. The mage goeth knows not only the word of power but also the new whatever. Where is fucking? Search the wall and open a secret door and search the dead tree. There's a magic axe here, but that's not what I want. I want. Where's the fucking guy? He's driving me crazy. Northwest Tower. I've been to all the towers. Mm. 
no it was. So, if this is down, this is up. Oh, it must be him. Maybe he stays here and I haven't... Oh, okay, it's my own fault. I'm called Goeth! What's your job? Looking for rough something? I am. <laughs> looking looking for something. I am looking for he's looking for something. Um Let's say what but in reverse. Cow? Uh, no, uh. <laughs> no, uh, but let's say, um, let's say it wrong. Uh, power, but uh, reversal, re. Well. Reop. <laughs> remember, I I not remember. He said to keep repeating the words in reverse or something. Draw. Pow! Did I fuck it up? Power. Reop. Reward? Draw which that was. Eh? Work. <laughs> I'm so confused. When I say word, it says that. Remember, turn I, but know it. I should. Yes, I know. Draw. Let's so. Let's do um, the whole thing. Word of power. So re whoop for uh, draw. Right word of power. Uh, let's say power here. No. Let's say word. Let's say draw. And then let's say re reward. We did all the things. Maybe I need to say the name of the dungeon? Let's say draw again, draw. And then it says draw which that was, which word that was. Uh, the star, but reverse. The stuff. <laughs> I need to write it down. Drat said Death Star, yeah, Drat said Drat said <sighs> Ah! Draw of power, thou sick it, remember Epony, well, I guess that's in reverse, so it will be Inopie Wow, that was confusing So, word of power for Death Star is
Inopia, Inopia or Aponi, but more probably Inopia. So it's supposed to know other things. Mantra, shrine, and altar. I wasn't looking at what you said. Who the heck would have buy that backwards worst guy ultimate fire? Maybe that'll help. Goat and jello, jello. Wandering the walls of this. I guess. Sorry, looking at the wiki on my phone. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, according to this little uh, wiki here, it was a nice wiki. I should, uh, yeah, I should keep it. Keep it on end. Because it does tell me all the characters in that location. So even though it does tell me where it is. Um, like before I go out, I should check. Did I talk to all these people? And it says search the wall in the northeast tower, open a secret door. So I'm going to look at that because there's a magical axe there. Um, so we did talk to. There's Ben Troll, Shipwright, Grimnor, the Innkeeper, Nomad, the Armorer, Nico, the ta Tavern Keep, Tryon, Thorn, Goet. And bull weir. A bull weir is the guy in the corner, which I don't know what to say to him. But uh, it even says quest function, which is kind of a spoiler. But Trident and Thorn should help me with the mantra. But the, the mantra is the word of power. That's what I'm understanding. I don't know. No, it's not. The mantra is definitely not the word of power. So there's a secret here. I missed it? We, yeah, it's there, but how do I go there? Eh? How do I get past these things? Can I attack them? Push push them? I can't push them. I can push them. I didn't know that. Oh my god. It opens up all oh, so many possibilities. Eh? Okay. Ah. Uh, found the weapon you have. Ready. Uh, YOLO. No, YOLO has the magical axe. Ready. Julia. Crossbow. Magical axe. And with the magical axe, you can use a large shield. And uh, small shields for now. No, I don't want to leave. Well, let's go talk to you. Like if I do mantra, it says, "Who does thou serve?" And then I say, "Brit," and then he talks about thou exploring the Dester dungeon. Yes, but oh, the mantra of Valerie's rise says it right there. I'm sorry. Okay, fuck it. Bye. Next destination. Ah, oh, there's another island here.
Yes. Before I forget. There you go. That was worth it. Thanks. Smash A and then double space when it comes to the fucking. Paying attention! <sighs> okay, I saved before... Uh... Okay, let's repair... Hold up and repair... Yeah, it's pretty crazy what everything you can do in this game. Is it just almost just because they're using all the, the almost all the keys on the keyboard? It's 
So the interface doesn't need to be complicated. Because I can use, repair, climb, look at, talk. I just want like mix, cast, one person, but okay. I need to be super careful here. Cast, Manny. <clears throat> Ship is 72, so just just that being attacked will damage our ship. It seems. Oh fuck! Or it or it's because of this guy. Oh, why did I do that? So this guy has long range. That's nice. Let's go. Back with you. Back with you. I need to do this. Oh yeah, nice. That was a good cast. as well. So we'll change ship, it'll just be easier.
good. Did I ever ask for peace? Yeah, that's what I would use. What is this? Are you guys okay? I'm gonna ask for money. Tall, dark woman. Name. Timmy. What's your job, Timmy? I'm a mage of great repute. Mage. I can't help you. Repute. Modesty was never one of my great virtues, but I'm actually quite good. Would you be impressed if I told thee that I can cast a spell that creates light even the darkest night? I guess, yes. Well, if you think that's good, I've nearly made things disappear. Nearly? I know I've got the words right, but I may have mixed the regions improperly, I think. Regions? I think it was Ash and Mandrake. But then again, perhaps it was Garlic and Blood Moss. Light. Maybe it's great light. Great light, ash and mandrake. Ash, mandrake. I'm not even supposed to help this person. Your entrance. Uh, let's say mandra. <laughs> Uh, let's say uh, dungeon. Let's say virtues. Let's say bye. Did we ask his job? Yes, right? Yeah. I am called Doofus. <laughs> uh, what's your name? You know? The most all-powerful mage to walk the surface of Britannia. Okay. Beyond imagining, why one day I even saw a nearly kill a giant rat with single spell. Beyond imagine, okay. rat. Yes. Just the other day, the grave hit the fire with no flint or steel, but merely lowered Sigillian spyglass. <laughs> oh, spyglass! Maybe we need this. Lord Sigillian used it to study the stars. If thou ask, he might show it unto thee. Ooh. This is a far thing. Ask Lord C. Galleon about. This guy is here or not? Lord? What's his name? Sig. Siga. Chant now, don't tell anyone else. An Elem. What 
word of power and dilemma. Okay, I'm gonna do a little break here and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. From the creators of Railroad Tycoon 2 comes Tropical, an addictive mix of building oriented gameplay and political intrigue. For the PC and Macintosh. Tropical, taking office, 2001. Hey, my kids lost their lunch on that roller coaster you built. Well, I thought they'd like the 17 loop de loops. Introducing the greatest phenomenon since Roller Coaster Tycoon. There's plenty to eat in your park, but where are your bathrooms? It's Roller Coaster Tycoon Gold. Three titles, one awesome package. I doubled the bathrooms, built some incredible new roller coaster rides. Ticket prices. Yeah! Tourists. Critics call it addictive and heaps of fun. Triple your thrills with Roller Coaster Tycoon Gold. Rated E for everyone. human race has grown at an incredible rate as space exploration and colonization have become a reality. Huge mining and manufacturing corporations compete in the pillage of the resources on the new worlds. It has become necessary for the corporations to hire heavily armored individuals to protect their investments. These individuals employ the use of a Corvette-class starship, providing living quarters and interplanetary transport for their planet runners. The planet runner was developed specifically for the purpose of navigating the harsh terrain, while carrying the firepower of a light-armored division and defensive strength of a small battleship. Capable of mass destruction, they are one-man armies.
We're back. <clears throat> Quentin, what's your job, Quentin? I'm the cook. Yes, I simmer up plenty of tasty dishes for the residents of the Adobe. Abode, Adobe. <laughs> a mixed bunch. A mixed bunch with an interesting history. Before he retired, my lord was a famous pirate. Now, even he fears Blackthorn. But I mustn't gossip. No gossip. Like I said, I don't wish to tell the tales, but if thou dost have an ear for gossip, I've never heard anyone who talks as much as my friend, Tilila. She lives in the city of Britain. Ask her for some rumors and gossip. Okay. City of Britain. Go back up there. Um, ask... Te lila, te lila about um, ask te lila about rumors or gossip and maybe I should ask about rumors and gossip to other people also noted te lila about rumors or gossip and that's from what's your name? Quinta Quinton was also in the other games sounds familiar um, yeah what about gossip I did ask you about gossip and Lord Yeah, 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 no, I know that they did. <laughs> I don't think I know. So I can get these things. Yeah, um, I can tell you exactly what helped me uh, learn English. When I was young, when I was two or three years old, we went and lived in Alberta, Edmonton, Alberta, for about three years. So everything was in English there, so definitely it helped my ears. And I would watch shows in English, like maybe uh, maybe the shows I was talking about uh, yesterday, like Dracula and all that. But definitely Sesame Street is a show that would watch, and since Sesame Street is an educa ed educational show, um, it would really help me to just understand the, like, the, the number of the day is six, and they would just six, 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 six for the whole episode, okay, six, <laughs> I know six now, you know, um, really helped, and then, I mean, I lost ink when we came back, and I went into, uh, as normal school, I kind of lost my English because uh, the English in school was not challenging me at all. It was not even like proper English. Was... 
so it's it was way worse than the English that my kids are learning now and I don't think the English classes are the best classes so I need to ask him about the, the spyglass what's your what's your name first of all what's your job you're the lord you're the, the keep I find homestead furnished with the proceeds from my old profession pirate many years ago I carved my living from the seafaring trade routes of Britannia pirate uh, gossip Rumor, rumors and spyglass I use my spyglass to study the stars would like to see it yes I use it in many nights from the navigational purposes I use it but rarely now does thou study the stars yes what is it said that the eighth planet represents I, I could look it up So Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So Neptune is the eighth. Neptune. Neptune is an eighth. Eighth and farthest known solar planet. Now, back then, it wasn't. <laughs> It was uh, a Pluto. Now Pluto is not a planet anymore. It never was. It's definitions. In contrast, the easy. So, what does it represent? History, discovery, naming, status, physical characteristic, internal structure, magnetosphere, climate, storms, internal eating, orbit rotation. Moons, observation, exploration, damn. We'll have to find it in the game. <laughs> Sesame Street 666, new username to get this Twitch Sesame Street 666. I don't remember anything before the age of five. <laughs> I said 666. No! <clears throat> I don't say anything here about like um, mythology or shit, but that's the, the, the Greek god. What does it say? Represent. Let's let's type it in Google. In astrology, Neptune is the psychic planet of ideals, intuition, spirituality, and compassion. Okay. There was an astronomy uh, in. Yeah, I might have to ask another guy. We're gonna, I'm gonna try some stuff here. So, spirit, really? Uh, what is said that? The, how did I get there? Oh, spyglass. Yes. Yes. Compassion. Apparently, not in this game. <laughs> We can try all the, the virtues. I don't want to miss some, so I'm gonna use my nose from Ultima 4. Oh, this might take a while though. Ah, uh, your interest, you say, um, how to get there, it was, uh, it was Spyglass. So just Spy, it's Spy G. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, like compassion should work, right? Shouldn't it? 
It's literally that, and it's right there. Compassion is uh, one of the virtues. Also, spirituality. What's what's the other? There were other ones, but I kind of dismissed them because they didn't look like they made sense in, the, in this context here. Psych ideas, intuition, maybe. Intuition, intuition. Hello. No, no, go there. Go there. No. No, no. No. And go there. Just, just, just jump there. Up. Up. <laughs> oh, okay, it's okay. You can stay here. Neptune is the god of ocean, I guess, but. What is Jupiter's primary atmosphere? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh fuck! I fucked it up. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't know. We'll come come back later. I need to find out what Neptune represents. And I can play on this piano. I just don't know how. Um, how to use it, but not use, but uh, look. Yeah, if I do this. I did try to play some notes. Oh, so I can push the things. Now that I know, I have to push everything now. Oh, who are you? Oh, you doofus, okay. So we're done with this place for now uh, ask lord singing about spy glasses he wants to know the mean no the, the not the meaning but the uh, what Nep neptune represents or not not neptune doesn't say neptune he says the eighth planet So we have to uh, put ourselves like in the minding of, uh, of of the fact that uh, the answer should be in there. It shouldn't uh, require us to Google things. So I bet that eventually, yeah, my karma didn't go down. Pick up these torches. Like that, I'm playing the game, and I'm 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 a young boy, and I don't know what the hate planet is. So, it should be in the game. There must be a, a place in the game I can I can ask about these things. Why are the answers one of the virtues? No, I, I don't know. I was just guessing. It's just weird that when I looked up Neptune represent, represents, it says that it represents intuition, ideas, spiritual, spirituality, and compassion. And it just so happens that two of the virtues are there the seven seven eight the eight virtues of ultima of the ultima world is honesty valor compassion sacrifice humility honor spirituality justice um and that's it one two three four five six seven eight yeah exactly but it wasn't i tried compassion i tried spirituality it would have made sense that it would work because um, uh, Lord British um, uh, Richard Garriott is, is kind of known to have made some mistakes in his game and he might have made some mistake and maybe he's talking about the ninth planet I don't know anyways that's astrology let me check Greek mythology no I'm, I'm, like I said I'm sure the information is, is in the game so instead of just guessing I just typed in Neptune represents. And then, no, it's not. That's astrology, but they're talking about the eighth planet. They're not saying Neptune. They said what represents, what does the eighth planet represent? So they're clearly talking about the planet. This guy went to space. He's clearly too high for mortal beings. <laughs> 
And like I said before, like this is an older game, but when he made Ultima 2 or 3, but even 1, even when he was younger, but when he made 1, he was like 18 or 17. So when he made Ultima 2 and 3, which are complete bullshit games, if you've watched uh, Spoonie's uh, review, um, he talks a lot of shit about the second and the third game because they are uh, there's a lot of bullshit in those games. But the guy was like 20 years old. So, <laughs> who were you when you were 20 years old? Like, it's normal that there's a lot of weird stuff and stuff that doesn't make any sense. That was his first game, and he made the game mostly for him, especially the first one. The second one a little less. But even then, it was like, it was just him making a fun game for his friends and family. He was selling it in, like in bags. Like in paper bags. And I think in Ultima, for Ultima 3, uh, he built up his own, like he wasn't bought by anyone. I think for Ultima 4 or 5, EA came in. Um, but he built his own uh, origin system, is his own company. And eventually Origin became a lot of good things. I mean, Origin made lots of good games. Produced a lot of good games. No, exit. Exit. Origin is responsible for the System Shock series, for... It's also responsible for Deus Ex, it's responsible for a lot of stuff because it brought people together and eventually these people would branch out and make their own companies. There's at least one, if not more, documentaries uh, on YouTube that really explain and give credits to Origin, which is... <laughs> nobody talks about fucking Origin systems. And people just come here and are like, I never, I never knew about Ultima. What is Ultima? And I'm like, wow, really? And you call yourself a game? <laughs> when it, if you're young, it's perfectly normal that you're, you're not aware of these games. They didn't left their mark like Metroid or, or Zelda. Even though in the grand scheme of things, there are way more historical way more important historically. Origin system is way more important historically than fucking Mario Brothers. Like, Mario didn't invent anything. Like, he wasn't the- Mario wasn't the first platformer. Like, it just took some really good ideas and made them work, and also the graphics were really nice. They actually- the- because most background, I think, back then were black. Like this game, everything's black, you know? Like the, it's, like the neutral color is black. Nowadays, a neutral color in a game would be more white than black. It depends, but nothing is black. It's weird, the blackness. Um, especially for DOS. Maybe it's for... Uh, it was more economical, like ecological. Um, but in Mario, the, the decision to make the sky blue was actually a big thing. I didn't know that, but again, another video I saw. <laughs> okay, let's go. So I need to go to the code. We're going to the codex. And then I can just wrap around, yeah, and go there. That will be way easier than what I'm doing right now. Even here, I should ra just wrap around. Yeah, fuck it, I'm going left instead. Already? Well, there you go. Thank you. 
Those who fear to try know not their limits and thus know not themselves. Oh, that is good. So again, I, I should go east instead, uh, starting about here, here, uh, yeah, in that direction. You're killing me, game! Ah, I just might ready something at this point. Just put on the crossbow. It's crazy how Mr. Garriott made these games. There's always like 60 things to do. <laughs> like right now, I could go back to, I think it was you, and say that I found Fred. Uh, I need to go to Britannia anyway to get some bow and arrows. I also need to go back to Britannia to, um, uh, to talk to someone about something. I can't remember, it's in my notes. Um, I also need to unlock all the like. There's so many things. To do. It's crazy. Yeah, like I need to know the words of power now that I know that I need words of power to enter the dungeon. So we're finally gonna enter some dungeons soon-ish. And in the dungeon is where the, the most of the game, the game gets a little bit and in, more interesting in my opinion, especially the combat because this is not super interesting. Uh, and we get a lot of money and lots of treasures in the uh, in the dungeons. Oh no, I have something with my guy. if I get attacked in this thing. Can I? Now let's keep the long range for now. His original name is Jumpman from Donkey Kong. Clearly, he didn't do anything important except jump. Yeah, he's a man and he jumps. Jumpman, fuck. That's Japanese for you, man. They they don't fuck around with their title. They just they're literally just telling you if a movie is about a giant dragon uh, wielding a sword of power, the movie will be called Giant Dragon Wielding a Sword of Power. <laughs> don't give a shit. And here we'll call it. Dragon power, or you know, or some fucked up shit that just sounds cool because we're cool, America. America! Upon what virtue dost thou meditate, valor? And the mantra is A something. R A. R A. R A. R A. R -A. Well done! 
strength plus one. Ugh. <laughs> That's lame. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go. I ready something better than this. Okay, save. This is not where you sleep. What? Ah. So now I understand that in pubs, like this little dude here, which is not there. I can chat and now I could say rumors right of what thou hear my lord sir no it doesn't know anything about that gossip Now my memory on that subject is a bit hazy, may I have 50 gold? I guess. I, I will reload. <laughs> Fair? Yes. Remo it, as it that the demon who lives in the desert that possess... Okay. Such knowledge about Brit? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Demon in desert know about Brit? Because <laughs> I don't know if it's Britannia or Lord British or what. But I think I know uh, what they're talking about here. So yeah, because I'm a cheap ass, I'm gonna reload my game. No, I don't think you can... Uh, where can you find bow and arrows? Oh, 
Only number 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play that eventually. Yeah, yeah, Martian Dreams and the other one. There's two of them. There's way more Ultima games than you would think there is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I wanna play Martian Dreams. I've heard Martian Dreams is particularly good. It's a point and click game, I think. So I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna like it or else. Oh, I don't wanna fight these dudes. I just don't want to. Fuck that. Okay, next objective. Where are we? We're there. There's something I can do here. Oh! There's a Shrine of Honor right here. Very close. Ultima 4 game engine? Martian Dreams? Martian, uh, Martian Dreams. Really? I might not be the game I'm talking about. Then. Martian Dreams. Impossible. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a new Let's. Dude, that's impossible. Impossible that it's. No, it's the Ultima 6 engine. Yeah, that's Ultima 6. Did you say that? Ultima 4? Are you saying Ultima 4? What? Are we talking about this? <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't know, I'm just saying it really looks like Ultima 6. It looks like Ultima 6. Vis visually. Oof, which is not super appealing. It has a style, but I'm afraid of playing Ultima 6. This now the sacred quest to go into the Codex and learn the darkness of dishonor. Bored. So at this point, I also want to go left again and just cut over. So much easier. Fuck it, let's do this. So from here, I almost just go left all the way. Yeah, there's this thing. We'll just go over and go back here and like this. I want to be sure to hit the thing. Boom. The codex of the life for the book is open. It is, it is the guilt, not the guillotine, that constitutes the shame. <laughs> Interesting.
Oh, I'm gonna get that other character. Uh, Julia or something. I think I left her in the inn. She's gonna cost me something to get back. Jana or some king. I can't remember what's her name. Gonna, next game, by the way, after Free Space, which should be like next week, um, we're gonna play uh, Star Trek on the Game Boy, and just be there because we're not gonna play a lot of Game Boy game on this channel. It's only because I'm playing the Star Trek games, so enjoy while it, while it lasts. It's not gonna last a lot. <laughs> it's not gonna last. I can stay here. And it's a very short game, so it might actually be one or two streams. Oh yeah, there's gonna be some colors. It's gonna be like Game Boy Color, but yeah, it's the basic game. I don't give a shit about color. Aren't you the guy who kept proposing black and white movies to me? <laughs> Stuck there. I need to open that fucking chest. Okay, Julia, you need to get the fuck out of there. Which direction was I going now? Where the fuck am I?
going back to the uh, owner. I think I'm in just close to uh, Jelong. He's gonna escape before I kill him. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, maybe? Let's play Final Fantasy 1 first. <laughs> I know, I know that most of, yeah, I, I'm also with you about the, but you, 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 you talked about the colors precisely, so that's why I stuck on that. I think that uh, a Link's Awakening and to a lesser extent, um, uh, Metroid, like Samus Returns are good games, but apart from that, no, I don't think there's there are virtually no good games on the Game Boy. I'm sure some people will say Pokemon or something like that, but I don't, I don't play Pokemon. <laughs> which which means that if I don't play Pokemon, there's no good games on the Game Boy except the two games that I said. That's how it works. And th these guys don't even do damage. It's just annoying fighting these things. And you just escaped. Pokemon at all. Twitch just gives me these emails because I have Amazon Prime. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just going in that direction now. I should eat. Too low, a little higher here. Boom. I really like the fact that you have to go with your little boat, like you can't. Uh, that is really neat. Uh, this is the honor. I have to do this again? Well done! Plus one dex? Come on! You're so cheap with your stats! So we've done Valor, we've done Honor, we've done Sacrifice, we've done Honesty, we 
where's the other ones? <laughs> okay, yeah, justice. And then there's one I need to... Um... Oh, humility is right there. Did I do humility? It's right, it's right there. Okay, I'm going to do that another time. So if we're honor and I want to go back to Britain there's no easy way to do it if there was some kind of pass through the continent Let's exit and uh, let's, let's hold up here. Eight dollars. Yes. Yellow. Oh, I think I saw some. Yeah, I think I saw this one one day. So <laughs> someday I saw that. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that interesting, dude. <laughs> And sprites, sprites over 3D models, especially in that uh, generation of gaming. Here there's Serpent's Hold, Greyhaven, Trinzik. Oh, I drop my ship in Trinzik and just walk all the way to uh, Britain. I stop at at a couple of yeah. Let's do that. Well, let's do Grey Haven from where I am right here because it's really close. It's like around here. Is it what's flashing, maybe? people maybe
Hello, Dread Scott. How's it going? Oh, hello. Who the fuck are you? Anthony. What's your job, Mr. Anthony? Chores. Clean. Day. Parent. My mother's name is Charlotte, and my father's name is David. David. Charlotte. Mother. Father. Rumor. Gossip. Brit. Mantra. Um. Let's look at the very roots of dishonesty and see if it comes from the twisted tongues of liars. And surely one cannot lie without a tongue. <laughs> Must I agree? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. That's a wise and truthful scholar. Truth. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I could just start exploring these cities and re, re. Oh, there's Death Star Dungeon that's just right around the corner here. And I might, I, I do have the word for that. So we could go to Death Star Jun Dungeon. Lots of possibilities for next stream. But I think I'm gonna leave my boat here and definitely go back to Britannia, get some bow and arrows. 
And yeah, for the first time, we go into our first dungeon in the next stream. Lots of stuff to sell, I think. Uh, let's look at our equipment here. Leather elm, chain quaff, small, large, shield cloth. Uh, we have seven slings. Drawing ash, or bow. Uh, no, we don't have that much stuff to sell. I want to live! I want to live! Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we will be playing more. Did I? Yeah, I just saved. We'll be playing more uh, Ultima 5 on uh, Friday. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be some free space. We're playing the expansion pack, Silent Threat. Um, um, but there's going to be some Cyberpunk before. So tomorrow, 5 or 6 Cyberpunk, and then 8 p.m. Um, Descent free space and then Friday there's gonna be some cyberpunk Friday also We're also close to finishing cyberpunk That's very interesting indeed. So we're gonna raid someone Did I just see fucking Boba Fett with a lightsaber? What? So I think this guy is on break. I guess we're gonna raid Tikaru. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great night. See you next time, hopefully tomorrow with some Cyberpunk plus the Sun Free Space. Ciao! Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that for a dollar!